Hey guys, today I'm going to give a tutorial on how to memorise mathematical definitions with Anki. During your maths degree, you have to learn hundreds if not thousands of mathematical definitions and if you use Anki, like I'm going to show you, it will save you a lot of time and it will be a lot easier. If you haven't seen my getting started with Anki video, have a look at that first and then hopefully this video will make more sense. If not, let's get started. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is open Anki as always. We're going to download one of the templates I've built so that you can more easily memorize your definitions. Then come down to the bottom here and click get shared. Log into your Anki web account. And then click get shared decks. And in the search bar on the top right, type in UMT and there we go UMT definition this is my template so click on the template scroll down to the bottom click download and when it's downloaded open it up and it should automatically open up into Anki so there we go UMT definition template First thing we want to do is delete this. We've deleted the cards in in the deck that we've downloaded, but we've still kept the definition template. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to open our maths deck and we're going to click add full screen that. And if you can't fit card type, you'll notice you have a new card type, which is called definition. So we're going to choose that. This card type has four fields, name, definition, examples, and picture. So as an example, I'm going to put in the definition of a group. So in the name, you want to come up here, type in the name of the definition you want to learn. So we've got group. Don't worry if you don't know the definition of a group or you have a different definition for group. The point is it's an example and hopefully it will explain how to use this flashcard type. And then you type in the definition. A group is a set equipped with an operation such an operation open LaTeX C dot close LaTeX where C dot is the multiplication dot that is closed associative has an identity has an identity element in every Now we're going to give some examples. Examples are extremely important. They help solidify a definition in your mind. So we're going to do open LaTeX and then we're going to do the integers modulo n. So this is the syntax for the integers modulo n. So BBB. BBB gives double script lettering and underscore gives superset lettering. And we'll see what that looks like in a minute. And then we're going to do backslash for a space and another example, the rationals under multiplication and then close LaTeX. And finally, we're going to add a picture. Pictures are super important. They really help remember things. Our brains are very visual. The picture can be of anything, anything that you think of with a group. It doesn't have to resemble a group. It could be your favorite music group. Actually, if it's funny, it's better. You're more likely to remember it. So maybe put in a picture of One Direction or something like that. Okay, so we're going to come and we're going to upload the picture I did earlier. And finally, we're going to tag for the module that this is related to. This is very important, as I mentioned in my last video. Okay, one more thing. The word here has to match exactly the name in the definition. And we'll see why in a second. Okay, so we're going to come up and click Cards. And we're going to see what we've got. So this creates three kinds of cards. The first is your normal definition. So the front says define group. And then on the back, we have the definition of a group. And also the picture and the examples are there too, to help solidify the memory. But to get the card right, you just have to recall this. The second card gives you the definition, but with the word hidden out. This is why these two have to be exactly the same so that the flashcard can search this and remove that. This card also has a typing box. You have to type the answer in and then you get to decide whether it's correct or not. 
and then on the back you get the definition what you've typed is compared to the name and finally the picture and the example are there too and then the third card is give an example card you can decide how many examples you want for it to be correct but give an example of is a common university maths exam question so it's really useful to start learning examples early on okay let's click close and then click add card and let's see what these look like when we review them so we're back on our unimass deck and we're going to click study now the first one define group and give the answer if you're on your own it's a good idea to say it out loud more likely to remember so then that's that one okay let's have a look at the next one what is this definition for so you get given a type box you get given the definition with the name blocked out so for example we're going to type group let's make a typo so you can see what it looks like you get to decide whether it's right or not um, Anki will compare the letters for you so we're going to click good and then finally give an example of okay that's the end of the video if you like this video and want to see more like this please subscribe and give a thumbs up and thanks see you next time